Satnam, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to Create Your, Cl- la 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 la. Create Your Connections Collective Readings, okay? And this is going to be a collective. And I am being told to steer this towards ascension. So let's see what's happening. What's happening? Excuse me. <laughs> Feeling myself currently. <laughs> uh, perception, the child, and the seven of fire. Interesting. And okay, so what does this have to do with let's steer this towards ascension? So I feel like your perception is maybe changing on some kind of a consciousness that you were dealing with, okay? Um, if you resonate with like the inner Christ, the child, maybe that is what's happening. Or maybe somebody else's perception on this inner Christ, the child energy is changing, okay? Take it as is. I feel like maybe, you know, actually what I'm feeling, especially with that King of Earth as well, I actually feel like you're grounding in some kind of, 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 of perception that maybe at some point seemed kind of, I'm hearing delusional. Um, but I'm also, one, two, three, I'm also hearing that somebody thinking this about you. I think somebody either still thinks you're being delusional or you are, um, or they, or they thought that you were delusional, okay? Or you are. <laughs> well. <laughs> Hmm. And I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, um, you're having a perspective shift and then somebody's having a perspective shift on you. In regards to you, I feel like you're having a perspective shift in this energy being much more capricious. What? What am I hearing? Much more, um, nefarious or much more like like naughty than you thought it was okay whereas maybe somebody else is having that experience as well about this consciousness let's get into the other deck two three four the king of pentacles again This feels like somebody else. This King of Pentacles is somebody, okay? It's not you, collective. So somebody's having a perspective shift on maybe some kind of inner child aspect of yours that you maybe tend to share or maybe tend to indulge. I'm not getting this vibe completely. What's the seven of fire? Well, no, just let's do that. Let's do it in order, right? <laughs> um, four of cups reverse. <sighs> Quite honestly, you know, like three, three, three. I wanted to. I wanted to do a reading about ascension because I felt like that's what th this was going towards. But now this is again just turning into some kind of like somebody knows that they fucked up kind of reading three, four, five. But that being said, I feel like it has a lot to do with Ascension. Okay. Four of Cups reverse, Princess of Pentacles reverse. Somebody is looking at you and I feel like maybe they were judging you whether you were being even good for a child of theirs, but they were in some kind of weird shitty energy themselves, okay? Doing some kind of weird things, okay? Is what I'm feeling here all of a fucking sudden. Collective. <laughs> I don't know, like, what? I think, I think somebody, somebody is watching you, absolutely. fucking lutely I'm trying to understand this person's, like, point of view, but I feel very much, um, the Seven of Fire being clarified by the Eight of Wands reverse. I feel like for some reason this person doesn't want to approach you, 444, because of what they've seen. Me shaking the camera. Um, Ten of Wands... The Prince of Swords, Queen of Cups Reverse. 
Maybe because of what they've done, even. Ace of Cups, the sun. Maybe they got somebody pregnant or some shit. I think I think this this person might have judged you or they might have um <clears throat> they might have had a construed perception on you in regards to some kind of maybe because they have a child or because of some kind of childlike energy that you carry maybe both maybe they thought you were too childish for them because they have a child or they wanted a child or some shit but now I feel like they're coming to some kind of conclusion that their perspective was incorrect. And quite honestly, I don't know why, but I feel like somebody was judging you for, for not being good enough for maybe a child, like a good influence or something on their child. But this person that was judging you, 555, was doing some kind of, I feel like, weird sexual things. Not with the child, but like, Like, going to the bathroom, uh, and then, whatever. Um, I don't fucking know what the fuck this is. What the fuck? Like, the, I don't know what this is. Like, like, I'm not judging anybody. It's just like, I'm like, why are they judging you if they're, if they're out, like, uh, cruising when they have to, when they have a child? You, you get what I'm saying? Like, like, I'm, 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 I'm hearing having, having, like, quite honestly, quite honestly, I'm hearing, I'm hearing having some kind of promiscuous public sex or something like that. That's, and I'm not judging that. I'm just saying this person, I feel like, judged you because you weren't being a good influence or, uh, the way their child would have perceived you was bad or something like that. But they do shit like this. I don't know what the fuck. Um, what? <laughs> And quite honestly, I feel like this person, this person is some kind of like, I don't know. I feel like that they're, they're, they're <clears throat> like, I think they thought they made the, the, the correct choice. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know what, what misconstrued their like perception like this. Um, but maybe like lustful energy. Like, I feel like they made that choice. They thought they were making the correct choice because they wanted to think that quite honestly is what I'm feeling here. But, um, I feel like this person is, is in a lack of forward movement now. Like, I feel like they're actually kind of stuck in some kind of almost like, um, it feels like depressed because of some kind of a FOMO fear of missing out or something like that. Because they, I don't know, like, I don't know, maybe this lifestyle or this choice, or maybe it could be a person, maybe it's just like a lot of sex with one person, it doesn't have to be like promiscuous public sex, but I don't know, something like somebody was judging you where you weren't supposed to be judged or something because they were doing something more worrisome or troublesome or something like that. But this lifestyle or this thing this person is going through is really sapping their energy, okay? It's really tapping them. It's, like, really tapping uh, it, okay? So, summer, bask in joy and light. I'm all for having your cake and eating it too. But I feel like this person, I don't know why. I don't know why this person was kind of, I don't know why, but I feel like this person is blaming, they're watching you and blaming you for not picking you, okay? This, quite honestly, this B feels very far removed. The summer card feels very far removed from, from these cards. It's almost like this person is watching you be in this energy, while they aren't, they might be stuck with a child, they might be stuck in a marriage, I don't fucking know, but they're like stuck watching you, not moving forward. But they're blaming you. I don't know why I keep feeling that energy, but... Ten of Wands, they're feeling burdened. Like, I feel like they're feeling burdened for because they were being deceptive. They were being deceptive. Maybe they chose... 
somebody else had chose a mother or I don't know, maybe they were married without telling you, maybe even walking away. They're watching you bask in some kind of joy and light, I feel like. Because, because, because you are in some kind of, I want to say, pure childlike energy, okay? Your inner child is pure. It's like authentic. You, 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 you emanate that energy from yourself. But they're blaming you for not seeing it quickly enough. Or something like that is quite honestly what I'm feeling here. And again, I feel like they were judging you for, for being a certain kind of way. Maybe being extremely fucking sweet. But, uh, I, I don't know, like, like, like they, were, they were, they were, they were, and that was like not good for a child or something. I don't know, what the fuck. Something about you was not good for their child or good, I don't know, or maybe even good for their inner child. I don't know what the fuck. But then turns out like, no, that was actually the, the thing that it needed or something like that maybe even. Because honey is so healing. Anyway, uh, collective, that was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing. Uh, ooh, we're gonna have 11-11. Nice. And I will see you again for another one. So, bye.